Hey folks, Ollie again. Uh, I'm going to give you another uh, quick peek at, uh, we did the, the big three uh, jazz chords, that's the major seven, the seventh, and then the, uh, the minor seventh, but there's two more to add to that family. And uh, this is the, uh, these are the half diminished and the diminished chords. So let's take a peek at them. I'll just give you a quick recap of what we've done and uh, then we'll look at the half diminished and the diminished chords. Okay, between the five of these chords you can pretty much play any jazz piece. So let's take a look. Okay, so quick recap. We've got the major seven which is the first, the third, the fifth and the seventh chord. Then we've got the seventh chord case it's C7, first, the third, the fifth, and the flattened seventh, and then we've got the minor seventh chord, first, the third, the fifth, and the flattened seventh. I hope you can see that from there. But one more, let's do two more now, sorry. Uh, we've got the half diminished, so we take the minor seven and you flatten the fifth, you diminish the fifth. Got the half diminished, that's C half diminished. And again, we can do different inversions of this. Where you just take the bottom note and you put it up to the top. Take the bottom note and put it up to the top. And that's half diminished. Very useful chord, especially in sequences. We'll take a look at some sequences later. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the diminished now. So we had the major, we had the seventh, we had the minor seventh, half diminished, and now the full diminished chord. There we are. And you can always work a diminished chord out because it's always a minor third up. Minor third, minor third, minor third. But it's kind of one of those chords where you, you know, you can... One of those, uh, yeah, it's with them on the railway tracks, the train's coming kind of uh, chord. So that's a diminished chord. So now we have all five of our jazz chords. Major seven, seventh, minor seventh, half diminished, and diminished. Give them a go, give them a practice, get familiar with them, and uh, we'll be doing some exercises on these to, get, uh, to help our framework of jazz improvisation uh, so that you can understand what you have to play uh, to transfer your ideas onto the piano. All for now, see you in a bit, bye.